here we are in part three through another spooky triangular gateway. Swimming along what looks like to be some rusty algae covered chains and some pots. Can we can we smash these open or something? No. Alright. And it looks like our our friend is gone again. We can just continue to swim along. Oh. Those are those big flatfish. Now this is very journey, especially the colours. Oh, there's one of our, our mini friend things along here. Hello. Do some casual repairs on him. And I realised that in the last episode of this, uh, the sound for the game was actually quite quiet, so I'm, I'll make sure that's fixed for this time. Maybe we'll swim down there. I see some, uh... I see some stingrays. Can we chase after these? Or are they just always going to dodge us? Oh, we have another one of the... Look at this. What is this fish? You can actually hang on to them in the bottom. of Sunfish. They look very derpy, these. Oop. Come on, mate. Alright. He's got a mind of his own again. And I'm really bad at controlling them. Look, here we go. Now we have two. I feel like they seem to get lost a lot or eaten by sharks, so it's good to have two. Shall we swim along here, see what's down here? Surely there'll be a shell or something. What is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, awesome. You released a whole bunch of stingrays. That's cool. Alright, we'll have to find the rest of those. Can we hang on to one of these? Oh, we can. These are really nice colours. Oh, this guy's fast. Up we go. Up we go. Come on, surface. 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 They don't seem to like going up to the surface. They always swim back down. Uh, it looks like there's something down here. Um, memory? Oh no, it's there. That's a huge orange glowing thing. I wonder what that could mean. Other than to go through it. And it looks like it's made of the same coral surface. So I assume we can break apart this with our... He'll dig it away. That was very bright though. And in we go. Into a very ominous, luminescent room. See, I bet these things are like, hide away when you- yeah. Oop. Oh no, we are strong enough. Feed some extra chain through there, which... Oh, those manatees! Holy crap. Oh, okay, so there's one part of the puzzle. I mean, just gotta follow that chain elsewhere. There are a lot of fish through there, holy crap. I feel like I didn't even notice all of that area existed. That upper area. This area is absolutely massive. Sunfish. Oh, there's a turtle over there. Lots of turtles. No sharks though. Which is nice. Oh, there's another pod here. Zebra sharks. Oh wow, they're, they're cool. They almost look like nurse sharks. Got the same flat body. Uh, that's, that's de definitely riding a manatee is something that needs to happen though. Oh, they've even got, like, algae on <laughs> They're so fat! Alright, up. Up to the surface. Can we do a jump in a manatee? It's actually just white. It's that blinding. Let's go to the surface. Why is it so bright? Or is it just because we're used to being in the orange water? Oh, what was that? Is that something in the sky? 
There's a floating island in the sky here. Oh, let's just dive again. And it looks like if you follow the chain, it looks like it runs around here. Oh no, it goes down there. But I'm, I'm, I just see this hole with a chain coming out of it, and I just assume. So, and it looks like our assumption was right. Oh, there's definitely a shell then. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's just for this shell. Could have actually just been for that shell. Yeah, it looks like it was. Right, out we go. Stuck in the wall. Alright, so let's actually properly uh, follow the chain now. Where was it? It was back over here, wasn't it? Here. There. There. Ah, there we go. Some extra chain to the manatee statue. Awesome. We've opened up the next area. Once again, the areas seemingly keep getting brighter and bigger, so I don't know what, what we can expect for this next area. These are crazy dangerous, I've heard. Steer clear of them. What looks like a freaky dragon. Maybe there's some hiddenness around here. No? Any shells? I'll make sure I get all the shells. It's a really high up area. Alright, back down to the water, watery depths we go. Back into the jelly caves. Oh, there's another broken apart step. Ooh. No, don't wander in there. Still terrifying. And of course... I bet we can't even go through this kelp. No, we can. But there's just... Nothing back here. We have to follow the... Oh, there it... Aha! Uh -huh. Try and hide the shell from me. I'm a master detective. And back. And of course... Even though the shark killed one of these mini robot things before, we follow the shark. Almost into impending doom here. Oh, it looks like this might be a new temple. Yeah, there's dead kelp everywhere. Undoubtedly means... Oh, there's like obelisks here. Okay. Now where? Let's have a check out of uh, this area over here. Oh, it's Hammerheads. The Temple of the Hammerheads. What about up here in these windows? You can't fool me, game. You can't expect to hide things in blatantly obvious spots and not get them found.
one thing that I was thinking about after I finished editing the last, well, uh, uploading the last video was what, what, like, happens if you, like, swim into the water that's, like, generated at the base of these temples back in the real world, not in this spirit world or whatever this temple area is. So we've gone from two, uh, we've, well, we started with the one prong, now it's two prongs, and now it's three prongs. So I don't know, I guess there's, there must only be four temples, so we must almost be there. Um, I assume, I can only assume, but once again, I assume we're going to be seeing a whole nother level and a whole bigger scale, so that's uh, terrifying, <laughs> to say the least. Here we go. Take the soul out of our body, or something. Harness the energy of the reef, and re-rebirth the temple. Oh wow, so we've got whale sharks. And I think these are whale sharks, I was wrong last time with the basking shark. Or basking shark. Um. And here we go. But yeah, these um these platforms are very journey e. But those are those are definitely whale sharks. I recognise the patterns on them. Oh, there goes a sunfish. All right. So first things first. As cool as the whale sharks are, let's let's dive down. See what this like energy gel does down here if we swim into it. Oh wow! We are riding a, a whale down into that. Oh, I don't think you're. <laughs> okay, I've kind of bugged the game out a little bit there by diving all the way to like triple diving into that, and it, like you kind of see through the world a little bit. So let's forget we did that and just dive into it with a whale. See if it goes all inverted colours as well. Oi. Don't walk into that. Here look, I'll I'll steer you. Can we go down please? No, I don't want to go up. Apparently we're going up. You really don't have as much control control as you probably want to with these. Come on. Left. Left. And now up. Up. Yep. Can we at least do a surface? No. Mind of your own. I, f I feel like maybe if you like had a higher higher level it's like Pokemon. But they move very fast and that's really awesome. Alright, let's, let's keep moving. As cool as going under the water was and how buggy that actually made the game. And then we go to another temple. It's so weird because it almost is like you're flying because of how... How, um... Did it go and touch the water? Because of sort of how everything looks with the water flowing through the world. Or the extra water. The unreal water. This is definitely something you press... yeah. That's awesome. It's kind of Tomb raider as well in some of these areas. Right, let's try and decipher some of these walls. Oh. Like, yeah, I noticed that we did have that pattern on our back, that little yellow triangle. So I guess... This is some kind of giver of water. But see, that's gone all gold and looks like it's a good thing. But before it was all red. Like an up there and they're chained together. Who knows? Is the big red thing evil or good? I guess that's why it eats your things at the end of the level. I forgot about that. I forgot that's why he disappeared. Almost gotten accustomed to jump scares now after that shark experience I'm trying to predict where another shark will come from 
Oh, we got little shell things, some eels. Oh God, if we see sharks that big, oh, that must be what it is. Or a squid maybe is what we're seeing last. And then praise the helix fossil up there at the top. Oh God, this looks a bit more ruined than some of the other areas. Oh, obvious shark jump scare in three, two, one. Oh, th there's definitely shark jump scare coming. And there's the temple thing. Alright, we're just going to rush through it. Quickly swim past everything. Go! Am I stuck moving slow? Is there just going to be a shark just appear? Please let me in. No shark. Oh, no shark. Sweet. And they just get sucked in. Let me with you. And through to what looks like open water. 